Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kirsten Morabito. I am from the Instagram page Styles and Sass if you don't already follow me there. There's a lot of S's. I do have a small list but it's really been bothering me lately. Like can you go to sweet therapy at 30 years old? I might do it. Anyway, sorry I just got off track a little bit but today we have another Walmart video which is my favorite video, your favorite video here on my channel. So let's get into it. No sponsor for today's video. We're just going to get right into the try on haul. I have a couple cute sweaters, um, a purse. Yeah, I think that's it. Sweaters, purses. I think that's it. So let's go ahead and try some stuff on. I am all pinked out here. I got some new um, stuff in from United Monograms, I believe they are called. They sent them over to me and they are so cute. This video is not sponsored by them, but I, but I did wear it today. And then pair of the cute little pink headband. I'm kind of feeling that vibe. I like it. So anyway, um, we are going to start off with this bag. I have been looking for a fringe bag for a while. So anything western or fringe is very much on trend right now. Everyone loves like western wear and country and stuff. So this is a really nice like saddle brown bag. It is a crossbody. Has a really cute gold hardware on it which I really love that detail. And it feels really nice. It does not feel cheap. I am such a sucker right now for like cheap feeling fake leather. Um, and this one feels really, really nice. And I'm really excited because I'm actually headed to Nashville in March um, with my girlfriend. And <laughs> I had been looking for like more fringy type of stuff. And so I'm really excited because this is only $19 and it's really like spacious, I think, inside. Um, so this will be perfect to walk around in downtown Nashville with and look all country and cute. And I love it. And switching from country to classy, I found this top on there and it is very much me. So it's just a black blouse, but then here is the sleeves. I love anything like mesh detail. And then it does have the little polka dots on it, which I think is so cute. Um, very like almost romantic looking. Then again, it is modest. It's like a higher neck. So you could even, I feel like you could wear this to work. I mean, it's only your arms that are a little bit see-through depending on your job. So I think this is a really nice blouse. And it was only $25 on sale. So I'm probably the only girl that's ever said this, maybe not, but I don't enjoy cardigans. I know, don't hate me. I know girls just love and obsess over cardigans and it's like a thing, but I have never been a cardigan person. I've always tried and I always feel frumpy or I feel like a grandma or I feel like they're just not the vibe for me. But I saw this one online and it's from the Scoop brand, which I love the Scoop brand from Walmart. And uh, I saw this one on there and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. And it's actually a little bit of like a thicker cardigan, which are usually like the ones I don't like. But I'm like, I'm going to try it again and see if I can like sass it up a little bit. And when I felt this out of the bag, I was like, oh my goodness, it is so soft and warm. And I have become more of like a homebody recently. And so I'm like, this would be so comfy to wear around the house. So it is nice, large, oversized, has like really cute button details to it. Um, this is a size small and it's very oversized, but I actually love this and I'm so warm I didn't want to take it off after trying it on. I think it's super cute and very reasonably priced. Now one thing in a sweater that I love is turtleneck or mock turtleneck details. Those are by far my favorite and mostly I think I wear a lot of turtlenecks is because when I get nervous, anxiety, um, overly excited, I, I can't explain it but like I break out in these hives on my chest sometimes for no reason and it's really embarrassing and it can really show when I am like having like an anxiety attack or something. I don't know. I'm crazy you guys. Just love me. It's just super annoying. It's super annoying because the smallest things will set that off too. Somebody in a grocery store, a 60 year old lady in a grocery store could compliment me and it would just make me a little bit like not nervous but like something and then all of a sudden I get hives or I can't explain, a phone call, anything like that. So I love turtle turtlenecks to hide that. But this one, oh my gosh, I love it. I love the design. So it is striped and I love tan and black so much. And it's just kind of like this lightweight design. Um, 
really cute. It's not crap, but it is like a shorter fit, which is my favorite type of style. Um, I want to say this was on clearance as well, which is even better. Super cute fit. Dress it up, dress it down. It's the perfect little turtleneck sweater. Next up, we have a beautiful white ruffled sweater, which was on clearance for $8, so I really hope that it is available when you guys see this video. And it's by the Sofia Vergara Jeans Collection, I guess, um, if I'm saying that right. But look at how beautiful. So it has like a sweater a ruffle detail here, cable knit down the sleeve, a little bit of a bigger sleeve, and then ruffled on the bottom. I say this in every video, but I love white in the winter. It is super classy and chic. Do not shy away from it just because it's like against the fashion rules. There are no rules in fashion. And this one is just an absolute beautiful sweater for $8. So this next set is a little bit out of my comfort zone, and I don't think I would ever wear it out in public. It would be more of like a loungy type of situation to wear around the house, or maybe in the summertime to hang out outside in um, but I can see a lot of girls loving this set it's very like trendy and um, for the price I want to say it was like maybe $19 for the set it's very affordable compared to other brands so it is a two-piece rib set so it comes with biker shorts um, and they're actually like very nice material they're not thin at all which I was shocked about because sometimes this brand, No Boundaries from Walmart, can be a little bit cheaper, um, but I love the length of these biker shorts, and then this is a cute little top that it comes with. So it's like a little, you know, little crop top, has a tie in the front, and um, thicker straps, really darn cute. It really is cute. Again, I don't feel super comfortable in it, but here it is on me. Um, it is very cute, very trendy, sneakers on, and a denim jacket, and it's a super cute look. I do like it, it's just I don't think I would ever wear it in public for myself personally. So that was it, but I do have one item that I bought that I am not going to recommend, and in my last video I think I said this, and someone said, please show us what you didn't like, because what if we buy it and then we don't know what you thought of it, sort of thing. So, I'm going to share it with you. Which is such a true statement, so thank you for saying that, whoever that was, and yeah, so these are what I bought, and I'm super bummed, because these short, like, Ugg boot style boots are very much in style again. So I loved the leopard print ones, like, oh, those are cute, leopard or cheetah, whatever they are, I can never tell the difference, um, but this is why I must not tell you to buy them. The bottoms of these are the cheapest material, like, you would slip and fall every single day wearing this. I can't believe, um, especially for Time and True, which is actually shocking, because I feel like Time and True from Walmart puts out some good quality stuff, but this is like, I don't know if you can tell, there's no grip to this at all. It's like smooth plastic. You would, you would fall on ice on your face. So, very sad about these because they were really um, reasonably priced and I loved how short they were and the fur inside. I really wanted these to work out, but I'm going to tell you not to get these. And that is it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's Walmart haul. There is actually another one coming next week. I have another one in the works. That's what I'm going to do from now on is just pushing out these Walmart videos. You guys seem to really enjoy these ones and like I keep saying, they are my favorite ones to film by far. I feel like I always find really good things and for the price, you cannot beat them. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to go over to my Instagram page at Styles and Sass where you can see more of me every single day. I do lots of try on hauls. I do, um, if you're a Christian, I do uh, daily Bible reading, devotional readings on there. Um, what else do I do? I don't know, you can see my cute kids, my family. Yeah, I'm on there pretty much every day, all day. So make sure to follow me over there and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.